Okay, so let's take a snapshot of our new VM. So I'm going to pick the web server. I'm going to just right click on that and say take a snapshot. Uh, the wizard is going to be pretty much what you see today in vSphere 5.1. Let's give the snapshot a name. And I'm going to type in a description. So this snapshot is going to be offloaded to NetApp Sysclone Technology. And if you look at the top right here, you'll see that the progress bar just flies by. So we're already done with a snapshot. So not only very space efficient, but also very time efficient. Let's take a quick look at our snapshot. I'm opening up the snapshot manager here. We'll see we've got the snapshot. We'll see how many other snapshots are there and the description of that snapshots. Okay, I'm going to delete that snapshot and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so let's clone our virtual machine. I'm going to again right click on the web server, take a clone to a virtual machine, uh, give this a new name, I'm going to call it Web Server 2. Pretty much the same GUI as you'll see in vSphere 5.1 today with the web client. Uh, again, you need to pick a compute resource and then we're going to select our storage. So here you see I can choose the storage profiles when that comes up. Uh, so I'm going to choose value again. It'll tell me what's compliant with that. Let's take a look at the uh, advanced options here. Because if you remember, we created this virtual machine with two virtual disks, and one was in the value and one was in the enterprise policy. Okay, so let's move forward. Let's complete that. And you'll see we're cloning this. And again, this is using uh, NetApp's Sysclone technology, so the clone operation will be really quick. And yes, we've completed that, so we now see Web Server 2 in our inventory. Let's just right click on that and take a look at it. Okay, so let's boot up our newly cloned machine. So this is uh, Web Server 2. Just start, power that guy up, and then we'll open the console. So what we've gone through is basically showing how we can use uh, the storage profiles to provision storage that meet the application needs, uh, set the different capabilities of NetApp storage using those profiles within vCenter, and uh, how you apply those, uh, how you can check compliance, uh, we've just shown how you can take snapshots and clones of uh, virtual volumes, how quick that is when it's offloaded to NetApp, and you see we just booted up our server here. This is Graham Smith from NetApp Solutions team, and thank you for watching this demo.